British MPs say they've uncovered serious flaws in a government scheme to compensate thousands of UK residents who were wrongly classed as illegal immigrants. Three years after the scheme was launched, only 5% of people eligible for payments have actually received any. Mark Easton reports. The Empire Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans. Many are ex-servicemen who know England. The Windrush Compensation Scheme was supposed to right the wrongs of a scandal that rocked the government and the nation. Thousands of British residents, mostly of Caribbean heritage, had been wrongly classed as illegal immigrants by the Home Office, denied the right to work, health care and housing. Others were held in immigration detention or deported. But now an all-party committee of MPs has concluded the scheme itself has actually compounded the injustice. To be in a situation where four years on from the Windrush scandal, only 30% of those applying have received anything, only 5% of those eligible have received anything, is simply wrong and really doesn't recognise that this is an ageing generation who were so badly wronged by Home Office failures. The Home Affairs Committee's report refers to the excessive burden on claimants, inadequate staffing and long delays, with concerns that many are still too fearful of the Home Office to apply at all. Four years on from the Windrush scandal, the committee notes the vast majority of people who applied for compensation have yet to receive a penny. What is this? What's going on? Are you Anthony Bryan? Yes. What's this about? Anthony Bryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of being an illegal what resident. You talking about on illegal. behalf of the Home Office. This TV drama tells the story of one Windrush victim, Anthony Bryan, who was almost deported, and his wife, Janet Mackay, who spent her life savings fighting to keep her husband in the UK. I was just thinking they're a headache, um, stressful, and the people you're dealing with really don't understand where you're coming from. I don't think so, anyway. They treat you like you're nobody, and it's the same circle non-stop. Responding to the MP's damning report, the Home Office said the Home Secretary and the Department remained steadfast in their commitment to ensure that members of the Windrush generation received every penny of compensation that they were entitled to, adding that they continued to make improvements to the scheme. Mark Easton, BBC News.